Okay, so I have carved this, I believe, a week ago. I just didn't know what to do with the back background. And, um, well, something came to me. That's what uh, you do when you, you get pieces like this. Guys, just put it aside. I put it in my bedroom for when I'm watching TV. And I kept on looking at it. And, um, yep, something came to me. So what am I going to put in the background, the question is. Well, I got to put something solid. So I got this painting board from the dollar store like who's going to paint on this thing with this bump in there i wish i would have saw that oh well anyways i'm going to take this off and see if it's sold enough to glue on the background into the background there so let's see if i can uh, rip it off okay you see this is how you do things at curving fusion you just gotta try and rip it off oh yeah it's working it worked <laughs> Okay, you can see here I kind of screwed it up a little. Well, that's just what we do here at Carbon Fusion. Uh, so um, let's see where we're going to put our... We don't want to have this big bump in there, right? Because, well, we just don't want to have that bump. So let's just do it like this. Okay, so I'm going to go along and trace the outline on this. I put it a little bit too short on this side i wanted to make it perfect so it's cleaner on the back side but it's no big deal okay so what i'll do is i'll see we got our mark there so now i'm going to cut on the inside of these lines maybe with a razor blade or scissors or something here look i got these big scissors come on let's see if these scissors will work here i think they will perfect oh just perfect okay so We'll just get this done here at Car Infusion and I'll be back. Okay, so I got it cut out. <laughs> I'm not worried about this stuff here. Just like, uh, yes, I could have made a better background. So boom, that's perfect. So now what I want to do is get a pencil. Let me get a pencil here. Would you look what I got? Studio pencils. These are good pencils. For two bucks for 12 of them. They're probably not the best grade studio pencils, but look. They come with an eraser. And they come sharp. So I'm going to go along here, push this down, and draw an outline here. Okay. Anyways, I'll get this outline done. Okay, so zoom in. Da -da. We got all the lines drawn out here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue some stuff in here. So let me get what I'm going to, let me go get what I'm going to glue in, in here to show you guys. Man. Okay. So first of all, I was going to make the background a mirror. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I was going to do broken mirror. Then I was going to do this. Then I was going to do that. Then I was going to do this. And then I was going to do that. But I've come to a conclusion. So I went to the dollar store and I went to many different art stores to try and find little pebbles rocks. I got these at a dollar store, like four bucks for rocks. These have been tumbled a bit. They're a bit shiny. I don't know. I'm not going to take off the lid. But I got these ones and I got white ones. But I thought like, man, these rocks, like how, how can I find little tiny rocks to make in the, ba the background? So I was like, today, I was like, Jordy, you got sand out there. Why don't you go filter your sand? Well, first of all, I looked at the sand. There's these little pebbles in there. The size I was looking for in the first place. Then I siphoned it. So I got these ones. I siphoned it again. Now I got real sand in here. So out of a bag of sand that I already had, I got these little pebbles, these littler pebbles, and these tiny sand pebbles so I want to make it three layers that's what I'm talking about sometimes it pays off the weight guys if I would have waited and not been in such a rush to get these little tiny pebbles that are way too big and wasted four bucks I could have just used my sand and siphoned it right that's all okay so this is where I get confused I don't know if I should glue the back on here onto this first then do it or do it without it glued on because I want like oh boy I better stop for a second so if you look at a painting like of a blue sky or a sunset this would be farther away here right 
So the farther away is darker, right? So it'll be darker, brighter, 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 and brighter up here. The brightest up here. So it gives it that, I don't do I know? I don't know. And tell you the truth, I don't even know if George knows. But um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do some nice, just some artistic lines, right? So there's one level or something. I'll figure out. So there'll be three levels for each stone, okay? Yep. So the sand's going to be here. The little pet, tiny sand is going to be here. Then the bigger rocks will be up top. That's it. Okay, I've finalized it. One, two, three levels. You know, you could also split it up and put a level coming down here. Let's see here. Uh, do something like this. Actually, I'll be back. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. See that? Like, whoosh, comes out. I did my paintings kind of like charcoal, stuff like that. So one, two, three levels. And this one will just go at the top. So I want to show you guys what I pre-did on this piece. This is the back, the front, back. I cut out around here where that frame goes in there. You see, I give it some depth because I don't want to, just like your undercuts, it's kind of like I gave this undercut. So I'll be able to undercut the rocks so they won't just stop like if they won't just stop, like, uh, like say if this was a line, it won't just stop right there. At least it will look like it's just flowing, flowing through, right? Okay. Okay. Another thing I need to process, what kind of glue do I want to use? Well, this, excuse me, this Mod Podge is glue. So I got this matte stuff here. So why don't I friggin' put some on here? I don't know if I should paint it on here first, you guys. Let's hear your opinions on this one after I do it. Some might be like, what the hell is he doing? You know, maybe, look, I got some fruity little heart cups too. So I don't know if I should pour the sand in this cup and then pour the Mod Podge, mix it in, then put it on or just paint the Mod Podge on here and push the sand on it. I don't know. Stay tuned. Okay. So this is what I decided. I poured some Mod Podge in here. Now I'm going to carefully, and this Mod Podge dries pretty quick. I'm just going to carefully put it on here, pretty thick. And you guys remember, when you, this is like, this is almost craft doing this. But you're not building spaceships, you're just having fun trying new things. That's all. Okay, so then I got to get here. Remember, I'm going a bit past, right? Okay, now let's get some sound. And friggin' pour her on. I don't know, is it gonna work? George, what do you think? Maybe you'll know this. Let's just tap it on there nice and friendly. Let's just, let's just give it a soft tap here. Oh, missed a spot. Okay, oh, wait for that to dry. Uh-oh, I doubled this one up, so that's all right. I guess I'm going to have to double this one up too. Yep, okay, but. Which means uh, put more Mod Podge on it and uh, pour more sand on it again. That's all. See, just like this. There you go. Put lots on there so you can pat it down. Give it five minutes. Okay, so we got our first ones in. So, um... Now we're going to move to these pebbles. So I want to be more careful not to get these too far past the lines on this one because, well, I just don't want this to be not stick flat on the back of that, if that makes sense. Sorry, guys, I'm trying my best to make sense of this. So now I'm going to put some glue in here and uh, put these bigger pebbles on. I think the most important thing with this is, um, you know, say for this, you want to have it to have, you want it to have nice straight lines, right? So... I don't know. Okay, so anyways, I'll get lots of glue on here. I could have also painted this black first, and that might have helped. 
But yeah, so anyways, I'll get this done and pour the rocks on it, okay? And I will put a final seal of Mod Podge over the top too, when it's done. So I put extra on, so when I push it down, I'm not touching the glue. Some of you might be like, I'm doing this all wrong. Well, guess what? I really don't give a shit. Whatever, I guess. Maybe need to do another coat. Wish I would have painted it black first. Okay, so as the nightmare continues, I don't know, it's still a neat background. So um, I, I poured soup, that CA glue, that soup, that uh, Starbond CA glue all over the rocks and it kind of went on the mountain. See the mountain tip inside there is kind of shiny and on the edge here is kind of shiny. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to Mod Podge with a gloss, this is the matte stuff, but I'm going to get gloss Mod Podge. Come on, zoom in. I'm going to get the gloss Mod Podge and uh, Mod Podge this whole thing, so it's all the same. And then after, hmm, what are we going to put in here? Uh, so sorry about that, my camera phone died. So I'm just sitting here waiting for the Mod Podge to dry, uh, eating some cookies. See this? Oh, hi, Rick. See these chocolate fusion cookies? You got these cookies here, Rick? Oh, they're good. They got bikes on them too. Yep, so that's what I'm doing. Just eating these cookies, you know, carving them with my teeth. Carving fusion cookies. Oh, I bet you don't have those cookies, evil Rick. <laughs> Okay, so the Mods Podge is pretty well dry, besides like up in there. So, now what do I do with in here? Do I want to use the same color stones? Do I want to, well, I'm not going to lie, okay, here. Oh, another thing I want to say too is that when I'm eating these chocolate curving fusion cookies, I always want to grab for this and grab a sip of my coffee, but it's not coffee, it's stones. So, what I did, I got some of my red dye. And I mixed some of these stones in the red dye and I put it in the oven and dried them off. So my favorite color is red and black, but there's some white in there too from the, the white rocks didn't absorb the dye that well. Okay. So, or do I want to put clear rocks in here? Will this stick out too much? But we do have kind of a red sun there. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Well, I just don't know what I want to do. I guess we'll have to wait and see. That is officially the worst J I have ever signed. Speak. Just let your art speak. Okay. I'm out of super glue. I'm out of cookies. Hey, Kelvin. How's that, Kelvin? Pretty good, eh? Pretty slick. So this is what came out of it. I'll explain what happened. This here, what it's supposed to be like a, whoosh, a wind line coming out, it was good. I had it good, and it looked like it was coming out and going up. But this 
it's just the sand down here and where it transformed to this part like one two three stages thicker medium small it just looked too straight across it i wish i would have like somehow blended it together more so i just couldn't stand the way that looked so i said i don't care it's a friggin art piece right art can be whatever you want it to be and that's i'm living by that rule i don't care hey ben studio on the lake so i just threw some more red rocks in there and kind of red there and so <clears throat> here's a shout out to ben studio on the lake good old Gen benny good old benny boy he did a video he's talking about art and people's opinions and sometimes somebody can Somebody can stand in front of an art piece in an art gallery for like three hours staring at piece at, at the piece, pointing at it, saying, what do you think the artist was thinking? Hmm, I wonder what the artist was thinking when he did that top right corner. Well, here's an example, okay? This is an art piece. This is what me, the artist, Jordy, was thinking when I made this piece. I was thinking... Well, that straight line across, I had across there looks like dog shit. So I need to fix it. So that's what I did to fix it, okay? It looks better than it did, trust me. So when somebody buys this piece, they're going to be like, well, what's that? What's all the red here? I'll be like, well, it is whatever you goddamn well want to think it is. Well, why did you do it? I'm going to say, well, I'm not going to tell you why I did that. I have my own reasons, but you're going to have to think of your own reasons. I'll give you a hint. I might have thought it might have been a tornado here, kind of stirring stuff up behind the mountains. But you can come to your own conclusion what you what you want it to be. Because that's what art is. It's what you want it to be. Do I love this piece? No, I don't love it. I'm going to drill some holes in here. Hang some, tw get some twine and make it so it's like a hanger. Somebody will buy it for their cabin. And again, if they ask me what this red stuff in there is, I'm going to say, here, here, come outside, I'll show you. I'm going to, they're going to go outside. I'm going to walk back inside and slam the door on them. That's all. 